from the Grand Canyon to Mount Rushmore to the Blue Ridge Mountains. The National Park Service, it's the government agency responsible for maintaining America's abundance of natural and cultural wonders. By the mid-1800s, American settlers were moving west and discovering new landscapes as they laid claims to lands in Texas, California, New Mexico, and Arizona. Many Americans were enamored with the natural beauty of the Trans-Mississippi West, which was so different from the East Coast and Europe. Some enterprising travelers realized these natural sites would make good spots for tourism and recreation. In 1855, a British man named James Hutchings, along with two Indian guides, visited the Yosemite Valley and began to write articles promoting California's scenic wonders. Almost overnight, Yosemite became a destination. It was so popular that President Abraham Lincoln put it under protection during the Civil War. But Yosemite was not the first national park. In 1872, President Ulysses S. Grant declared Yellowstone the first ever national park. It wasn't until 1890 that John Muir, a Scottish-American naturalist, successfully convinced Congress to protect the Yosemite area. Muir would continue to have a major influence on the creation and preservation of new parks, along with President Theodore Roosevelt. Between 1901 and 1909, President Teddy Roosevelt, who believed that experiencing nature was instrumental in building American character, created five new parks, including Yosemite, and claimed over 100 million acres of national forest. He also signed the 1906 Antiquities Act, which gave the President of the United States authority to create national monuments from federal lands. National parks were springing up all over the country. But it wasn't until 1916 that President Woodrow Wilson signed an act to establish a National Park Service run by the federal government. The Organic Act gathered the 14 national parks and 21 national monuments into a federal system. Congress declared the fundamental purpose of the national park system to conserve the scenery and the natural and historic objects and the wildlife therein, and to provide for the enjoyment of the same in such manner and by such means as will leave them unimpaired for the enjoyment of future generations. Over the next two decades, Congress expanded the national park system, adding the Grand Canyon, Bryce Canyon, Acadia, the Great Smoky Mountains, and Shenandoah to the list of national parks. Throughout the 20th century, the service continued to expand, thanks to some important pieces of legislation. The Historic Sites Act of 1935 allowed the government to give historic properties protected status. The Wilderness Act of 1965 created a policy of securing wilderness areas for the benefit of the American people. In 1990, the Native American Graves Protection and Repatriation Act required museums, including those in the national parks, to return excavated remains to their cultural descendants. By its 100th anniversary in 2016, the National Park Service employed more than 20,000 people and upwards of 300,000 volunteers, presiding over more than 400 parks, monuments, and other sites. Today, the National Park Service still works with communities across America, preserving nature, local history, and providing the public with places to explore, learn, and reflect. Mm -hmm.